Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. Last night, I left session pondering whether I would speak on behalf of House File 1054. Not because I don't believe it's the right thing to do. I believe it is. But more because as a person of faith, I didn't want to upset those in the black community of faith who believe that marriage is between a woman and a man. But this morning, I woke and I knew what I had to do. As a descendant of slavery and one who ancestors were seen as less than, I cannot take that message forward into the 21st century and deny an individual, a human being, the dignity of loving who they are and in turn loving who they choose. For me, this decision is not so much about a religious belief, but instead it's about a basic human right. A right given to all by a well-known phrase in the United States Declaration of Independence. A phrase that is meant to exemplify the, in, the unalienable rights with which all human beings are endowed by their creator for their protection of which they institute governments. Today, I stand here confident, capable of celebrating this historical moment, his historical moment. A moment much like the one that my ancestors celebrated and believed in during the civil rights era, an era of being equal. There's no compromise to that. Either we are equal or we're not equal. Equal is really equal. So today, I stand believing that we are on the right side of history. A time where all, regardless of sexual preference, will be able to make a commitment through marriage of to love whoever you choose to love. For nothing is stronger than love. So today, I stand in support of love. House File 1054. Thank you.